Hi you guys, welcome back to First Impression Friday where I review an entire sewing pattern collection either from an indie pattern designer or a seasonal collection from Big Four. Today, since we have no Big Four new releases, we are going to take a look at Winter Wear Designs. All right, so the designer behind Winter Wear is named Suzanne. Three, a mom of three kids who grow fast and are always in need of something new, design clothes that her kids can play in, make them feel special. She also designs for women because as a curvy gal, shopping in stores can be frustrating. And sewing up clothes designed for a different body type can be even more frustrating. Amen. Um, designs for curves, but also includes fitting instructions to get the perfect fit for your body based on shape and measurement. She studied costume design. Um, designed for main stage shows, learn patterning, draping, and the art of translating a sketch into a garment that fit any member of a cast. Not all actors have model bodies. Taking classes on digital pattern graft grading and drafting, and constant <laughs> can't talk and constantly self teaching through reading books, online tutorials, and watching YouTube videos. All right, so that is all about Suzanne. Winter wear designs. She describes them as classic designs of easy to wear clothes for women and kids. Um, even though it's called winter wear, she designs for all seasons. I think it's funny that she had to point that out. But all right, let's shop. So we have a couple of different sections here. We have women. We have women sized 5X. Um, that must be some of the, uh, that must be the patterns where she's extended it to a 5X. I guess that's what that means. Girls, boys, uh, wardrobe builders, bundles, projectors, the Wanderer collection, freebies, and a gift card. So we're going to look at women um, from what you need for the office to the weekend. They all include detailed instructions to get the right fit for your body shape. So we're going to be paying a lot of attention to fit here and pay attention to the model bodies um, and see if we can notice some positive things about designing for curvy women. Okay, we're going to try She has got a lot of patterns. Actually, wait, does she have? Yeah, she has a lot of patterns. So we're going to try and um, eliminate some of these accessory type things. And then I'm assuming some of these also are bundles, so we will skip over those. But the first one we have here is the Amuse Boho Top. Relax fit raglan pattern designed for woven fabric. Front yoke that can be used to show off a great fabric design or fun embroidery. Large scoop neckline. Two sleeve lengths. Um, there is a length in line for the three-quarter sleeve so that you can adjust for your arm length. The top hits at mid to low hip. For women 5'4 to 5'6 and can be paired with jeans, skinnies, leggings, or pencil skirts. The top hits right at mid-hip where the tunic length hits just below the bum. So top, top tunic. Okay, that's a little confusing. Two lengths, right? Shouldn't say. Okay. Um, both have curved shirt tail and have the option of a vented hem at the side seams. Lots and lots and lots of information in this description. I really love it. So after we read this, we, there's really nothing left to wonder about. That's great. Um, here's some options for the dress. Mini length, above knee, and knee length. And then some ways to style it. So, scoop neck, front yoke, back yoke, sleeve links, dress links, top links. Okay, great. And then this is what her pattern covers look like. It look, I don't know if that's her. Uh, I guess we'll find out over time, but they also have how difficult it is. This is an advanced beginner project, how much fabric you need, one and a half to three and a half yards, and then your printing formats all right here on the front cover. Sizes extra small to 2X. So we're going to see here shortly what exactly that means. Here is the line drawing. So this is the front yoke raglan sleeve, super simple to execute, the easiest of all the sleeves. And then the back, you have either just your raglan or you can include a um, back yoke as well. So if you're doing like some kind of, I don't know, sheer fabric, some kind of contrast here, you might want to add in the back. It also provides additional width through here because you have the gathers. Um, so that's cool. And then here's the links and the sleeves and all that jazz. All right. So this is your body measurement chart. 31 inch bust up to, this was to only a 2X, I thought. 
boho top and dress. She says it is up to 3X. So, bust is either 31 to somewhere between 45 and 50 and a half, um, depending on what size this one actually is. And then waist is kind of negligible on this one. And then your full hip is 31 and a half up to as much as 54. But a 2X is 47. That's a big difference. I wonder why all of these are single numbers and then this one's a range. Hmm. Okay. And then finished garment measurements kind of are what they are. So that's good. The ease in the full hip is roughly five inches, five to seven inches. That's decent. Up here. Oh, that's the bust. Bust um, is roughly five to seven inches. And then the hip is same four and a half ish. Okay. Happy with that. Oh, Hey ladies, those are all the different links. That's pretty cool. And then here we have some lovely tester photos. This must be her, right? That must be Suzanne. See how you can put in like eyelet and stuff. That's so fun. Love this for like a country Western, you know, like boho, I guess. Isn't this the boho top? Yeah, I'm getting strong boho vibes. Yeah, totally. Totally, I get that. Oh, a little lace trim, that's cute. Okay, so we've got, oh, I can't get any bigger than that. I can't get any closer than what I'm at now. And I think this is the curved hem she mentioned. That's lovely. All the gathers through here, really nice. This is the raglan. Um, doesn't seem to be pulling too, too much, meaning the arm side isn't too long. No gaping at the neck, no pulling, none of that stuff. So it does seem to fit her really well. Um, she's also got, I don't know if this is the fabric or her actual arm, but she could possibly have kind of a fuller bicep. Um, so we're getting a nice shape through the shoulder here, and then it kind of billows out and then comes in close again to the forearm. Yeah, it's kind of like a loosey goosey little top. So fit is a lot easier to achieve. All right, this is the aviator pant. Okay, aviator pants are knit pants designed for fall and winter, but with the right fabric and fun modifications, perfect for all year round. No button or zipper, super comfy. Um, they have a knit waist, yoga style waistband and include an option for drawstring with elastic or just elastic make the aviator capri so you can shorten them so sweatshirting french terry heavier knits and then your waistband needs to have 60 percent stretch or more and kind of goes into explain stretch and recovery that's nice 2x up to 2xs up to 3xl all right i'm a little nervous but we're gonna we're gonna check this out this is well i'll reserve my opinions as we can look further okay so they're pull on little curved scoopy um pocket and then uh cargo pockets and then they're also like cinched in at the ankle this makes me believe that you can do contrast so to me especially in this photo it seems like a lot of styles going on at once like it wants to be dressy it wants to be casual it wants to be functional and maybe it can be all of those things um here's the size chart so we've got high hip hip and out seam so she doesn't even give you the waist which is fine with me because it is elastic so you should be able to adjust that accordingly I, I, I can't tell whether, I think I like that she gives the high hip. That is not common or normal, but I think because she designs for curvy people, this is where our biggest difference occurs. My high hip and my full hip are usually two different sizes. So I appreciate that she's got both of them there because you can assess how deep the curve is between these two. All right, so it is a full hip of 31 and a half up to 51. 
And then for whatever reason, this got switched upside down. Um, 32 and three quarters for the two XS. This is finished hip up to 52. So only one inch of ease. Now it is a knit pant. So one inch of positive ease makes a lot of sense. If you have a fabric that's like super stretchy, you could even size down one. But this is our Capri length. I've never been a fan of like tight bands around the fullest part of my calf personally. Oh, okay. This is like a whole different vibe. She used like gauze or something and made like beach pants. Here is the contrast version. Yeah, I'm a little bit like, hmm, trying to think about how I would actually wear a design like this. I don't know about a knit cargo pocket. It's like a lot of work for something you're going to put in, like, let's say you put your phone in there, right? Or your keys or whatever. I mean, you've only got like a knit waistband to hold these things up. So inevitably the weight of that is going to pull it down on one side. That's not great. So I think if you just like, yeah, and a lot of people are like dressing these up. I don't know about that for me personally. I think just stick to a loungewear situation and Yeah, it's just giving me, like, mixed messages. Like, I don't know what it wants to be, really. You know? Like, I wouldn't wear it this way, but then if I think about it, like, just sweatpants, then it's really just another pair of joggers. So I get why she wanted to do a little something extra with the pocket and with the contrast. So I would want to lean into that and, you know, honor that. But then I'm like, but then would I wear that? Or would I use those pockets, you know? I don't know. All right, so next up we have, let's skip over the bundle and go to the balloon sleeved sweater. Sizes 2XS to 5X. Cute. All right, oversized dolman sweater with a lax fit design for sweater knits and French terry. Pattern features multiple links. It looks like four of them with a slight high-low hem to pair perfectly with your high-waisted jeans and skirts. There's also a straight hem um, that hits about mid-hip. What sets this pattern apart is the voluminous balloon sleeve in long and three-quarter lengths. You can do a bound or faced neckline and hem finishes. Facing on a knit. I don't know about that. Um, I guess it is simpler to execute, so in that way it's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> High low hem in the four lengths, straight hem in one length, regular back or low back with bow, balloon sleeves in two lengths, fitted sleeves in two lengths. Okay. Um, two to two and a half yards. I think it's nice that this is included right here on the front cover because if you're someone who prints out your pattern instructions and like stores them in a folder or something and you're trying to decide what to make and you pull that out, you can see right there on the cover. Do I have the fabric I need for this? So I appreciate that. All right. So we've got a dolman sleeve. There's nothing exceptional about fitting a dolman sleeve sweater. It's going to be loose. It's going to be oversized. The fitting's going to be fine. The one thing that we need to look at, or the few things, are the neckline. It looks to be drafted beautifully. No gaping. She was able to execute doing the binding just fine. All good signs. Then we have this seam here. That is what creates the bubble. The length of the sleeve looks really good. The length of this straight hem looks really good. She did a little French chalk. Super cute. Another one where she did a contrast sleeve. And this is the straight or the fitted sleeve. Um, so you can see kind of what that looks like. That's the low version with the bow. Super cute. And also the three-quarter balloon. This is really sweet looking. Here are all of our line drawings. And then body measurements and finish measurements. So again, she really only gives you the things that matter. So you're not overanalyzing too many things. We've got a bust. We've got a hip. Um, the ease 
and the bust is, what is that, nine? Yeah, nine inches. The ease in the hip is 10. So it is a very loose fitting top. Feel free to size down one or two sizes. If you want to remove some of that volume, just know you're going to like kind of miss out on some of the, like this is probably a sized down version where the other ladies had one that's much looser. I think it depends on your fabric. If your fabric is super drapey, keep your size because the fabric is going to fall into you. But if it's a little bit less stretchy, less drapey, maybe size down one or two sizes. Cute. Love it. I love the stripe because you can really, like, really highlights the dolman, right? I do want to see some more of these curved hem options. Here we go. Some high lows. Love the contrast there. Do we ever get to see any of the backs? See, this version here may be a little bit too big. Can you see the difference? It's like kind of drowning her. Or maybe she, I don't know if it's the angle of the photo or maybe she's a little bit shorter, petite person. Um, but this feels a little bit long and a little bit oversized for her. So yeah, this one really just comes down to picking the right size. If you don't know, I have a fast fit worksheet and or workbook that um, explains how I choose what size to make on everything that I make. I'm going to put up a QR code here, but you guys can also check the description box to grab yours. You can buy the worksheet from my website and then the workbook is sold through Amazon. Okay. We've got enough photos of that. Okay, now banded hem add-on for I don't know what. Oh, banded tee. Okay. Little $5 funsy here. Banded tee, semi-fitted knit top, meaning it will highlight your curves without being too tight or clingy. I actually despise banded tees. I don't, I, they're just not comfortable to me. Maybe like back in the day, I wish they had like copyright dates on each individual pattern. So I could know like when, what date it was released. Cause some of this stuff feels a little bit dated. I mean, this is like, if it were early 2000s, 2010s all day long, we would be wearing this like tunic length with the leggings and the little you know, cowl neck, that was all we were sewing, right? I think things have been updated a little bit since then, but for $5, she's probably really cute and comfortable. Here are some of the tester makes. You can do it hooded. You can see that there's a little band for your sleeve. Oh, <laughs> she's got a full on chicken. Okay. Well, holiday version. Yeah, I just don't love for me being curvy, being as this is like the widest part of me to have like a bold stripe going right across the bottom of my body like that. I'm just not a fan. But before I knew any better, I was rocking the heck out of some banded tees. Um, this is the Bateau Garden Dress. So perfect anytime, anywhere dress for women of any age. Classic silhouette features the boat neck, scoop back um, for woven fabrics. You can choose from the flattering pleated circle skirt or a sleek streamlined pleated rectangle skirt. And there's a petty skirt for additional poof. Yeah, this is very um, breakfast at Tiffany. But it looks pretty good even from these first few photos. I like where the waistband is sitting. I love a circle skirt. You guys know that by now. Princess seams look decent. There's a little bit of pulling there, but that honestly could just be the bra that she has on that day versus the bra she was wearing when she took her measurements. It's, it's such a little thing can make a big difference on fit and flare dresses. Again, though, this is kind of like a style. I mean, I guess everybody, well, now her waistband is super low, but she's also petite. So um, I guess she just didn't make the adjustment for that. But um Everybody needs a fit and flare dress, right? I mean, look how stunning. 
this is a little concerning. Um, she probably needed a small bust adjustment there. Um, but look, I mean, so flattering on everybody, like everybody. If you do not have a fit and flare dress already in your stash somewhere, this one's as good as any of the others. Um, but once you have one, you kind of have them all, you know, like the only real differences are going to be your neckline shape. Um, and then whether or not you've got darts at the bust and the waist or princess seams. Um, and you can easily adjust between both of those. Okay. Cutesy. Now we have blithe blouse and dress. Okay. A little collared action. Um, will fit your casual and business needs. Full collar and collar stand, front and back yoke, three sleeve lengths, figure flattering in sizes extra small to 3XL, mix and match your fabrics, keep it all one color, gathered back, provides ample ease for a relaxed fit. Kind of what I was mentioning in the first version with that yoke. Um, the pleated back is more fitted and hugs the curves a bit more. There's also an option of a less flared back. Simply turn on the narrow cut line layer turn on the narrow cut line layer okay um, because of these variations on fit i highly recommend making a muslin for the pleated back and or narrow cut line versions okay seems like she took something relatively straightforward and made it a little complicated but i like having options so <laughs> it's like i guess i'll just deal with it um all right, let's take a look at these photos. Here's our line drawings. Super cute, straightforward, classic shirt dress, right? Everything from the button cuff, you can even do a turned up little tab. You've got front yoke, back yoke, pleats, gathers, collar, collar stand, all the things. And then this has got a little half placket, which I adore a half placket. I think it's so sweet. Um, these are our body measurements. I think it's the same chart we've seen. Pattern description we've already seen. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that this is the this is a pleat, and if you've ever seen a men's shirt, which I'm sure you have, um, the pleat is not supposed to be pulled open like this. There is supposed to be some ease through here, and she's got hardly any. Um, so I don't know if that's a sizing issue, a measuring issue on her part. Um, it's really hard to say. The front looks decent. I'm hard to tell what this is coming from. Maybe, I bet that's coming from the back because the back is too tight. So it's just kind of twisting as she's like moving around and taking her pictures. This version, it's harder to see the drag lines they are still there not as bad and that might be the gathered back this high angle is again hard to see but it does look a little bit looser just in general that one at an angle is kind of hard to see too but I do love the denim and eyelid that's so sweet that one also looks pretty good right amount of ease going there yeah, the rest of these are coming together really nice. Isn't the, the design, the little um, half pocket shirt dress, such a classic? Love it. See th how the gathers are kind of just elegantly draping down her back. That's what we're looking for, even with the pleated version. Cute. I like this. I like this. Um, the more that I'm getting into the tester makes, the, the better I'm feeling about fit. Lots of photos of the back on this listing too, which is really nice. It seems like everyone was able to execute on the collar really nicely, so the instructions must be pretty good. So yeah, okay. Blythe is great. Good option for another classic design. Um, that is a bundle. This is the Boulevard skirt. Um, perfect piece for all roads of life. Pattern for woven fabric features a contoured waistband and a semicircle skirt. 
a little interesting to me that as a curvy designer, she put in a contoured waistband. I would be interested to see how contoured it is because a couple things. One, this is a high-waisted skirt. So this part of your body is pretty straight. The curves start to happen down here. That's when you would need a contour, like a deep contour. Um, this might be just a shallow situation. I, we, I don't know. It, I would have to see the pattern pieces. Um, front button placket. Uh, optional waistband extension and fly shield to create a great fit with no fears of gaping. Optional waistband extension and fly shield. I don't know why you would need that to prevent gaping. That's a, I don't know. That's confusing. And pockets. Big pockets. Okay. Nice, deep, um, like a wide waistband too. This is, oops. This is exactly how I would wear it. This is way too low, AKA too big. She's got it on. I mean, this woman, this is one of those things whenever I meet with you guys during the fitting consultations that I do, so many of you are afraid to pull your waistbands up to where your natural waist is. So many of you are like so shocked when I tell you your waistband is higher, your waist is higher, 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 higher. And they're like, really? And, but the further up you go, the narrower your body gets. So even if it is closer to your boobs than it is to your butt, it will be the most flattering if you can get it right to where it sits at your natural waist. Okay, so here are our options. She actually, I mean, it's hard because these designs are kind of cartoony. Uh, or, yeah, the drawings are kind of cartoony. But this actually looks like it sits where the top of the waistband is at your natural waist. Whereas the photos were looking like the middle of the waistband was at your waistline. So if that's the case and the top of it is at your waistline, then a little bit of a curve does make sense. So you'd have to just check the um, instructions on how and where to measure. That just looks so pretty. Kind of odd though that it doesn't just, ex the button pocket doesn't just extend all the way down. Like this stops right here. I don't know that I've ever seen a skirt with like a half placket situation. Here's a great shot of the back though. It almost looks like it's a um, circle skirt in the back, which I'm totally here for. It does fit her really well through the back. Might be a little bit long, which is why you're getting this like kind of bubble situation. And it is kind of falling down in the front. So that could mean either yeah, it's falling down in the front and there's drag lines here. So I'm getting the impression that it's kind of tugging um, through her midsection. So I think if she pulled it up, these would go away. But how to keep it up would be probably to cut a different size in the front and the back. Or just double check the size of the waistband in general. Cute. Fun. That was the one we saw before that was a little low, but I mean, beautifully executed. Like her, th this should be up here for, for this design. But you know, one of the beautiful things about sewing our own clothes is that we can wear it however we want. We can make it however we want. I just think the intention, I always like to point out, point out what I think the intention of the designer is. She is wearing this exactly how I would wear it way up here at her natural waist, super, super small, makes her look like boom, 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 hourglass. She looks like a million bucks. All fun versions. So many different personal styles too. I guess that's the fun part of looking at Tester Makes. Oh, that one's sweet. Super cute, sitting at the exact right location on her body. All right, we got it. I've been talking a lot about just like such a basic skirt. Okay, I just get so excited when things are really cute. 
All right, next we have boxy tea. I think we can probably skip that, right? And I think that that is the banded hem add-on for the boxy tea, simply because she's got the same little decal. We've gotten a button-up for women, which I think is very similar to this, just top version instead of the dress version, so we can skip that. This is the Champs-Élysées, Champs gosh, please help me if I butchered that, French people, um, cross-back blazer. That's fun. Now, we did go through a phase in, like, 2015 of, like, crossbacks were everything. We were loving a crossback. But I don't know that I can say I ever saw one in a blazer. How fun. Designed with princess seams and the option of a gathered sleeve or straight sleeve. I think gathered cap is what she means. Three different sleeve lengths. All of the internal seams are Hong Kong's. Um... You can dress it up or dress it down. All these fabric options. Consider the weight and drape. Also love that little bit of information. Okay, let's look at these pictures. XS to 3XL. So it does look like it's fully lined. Um, does not have any closures in the front. Is that right? It's meant to be open. So cute. I love it as like a little option for spring, like a little lightweight spring jacket. Wait, some people have a little notched collar. Now I'm confused. Did we see line drawings yet? Look at all those beautiful Hong Kong finishes. So I don't think... The jacket is not lined. There's a facing here, but I do feel like something was happening here because I could see some other something peeking out. Maybe that was, certainly there's a facing here. Oh, maybe she did contrast facings. That's probably what it is. And she definitely has it turned back on this one. Maybe that floral one, I just couldn't see it very well. So sweet. I love the little short sleeve. That's adorable. It's just really hard to take a photo of a fitted blazer with your hands on your hips. Like, I think that's where everyone's comfortable posing, but, like, it's never going to look great through here because that's just not how it was designed, <laughs> you know? Like, it's not designed to be able to, you know, look great with your, with your arms up. She is just serving life, though. See, hers is... Okay, so there must be options. And we never saw a line drawing for as far as I can tell, right? Oh, way down here. Okay. I was close. No, that's not a line drawing. That's a croaky. So no line drawing on this one. Which is a bit of a bummer because I'd like to see the neckline options. Did she talk about that up here? I don't think so. All right. It is cute, though. It is cute. I just don't, I can't tell if this is a two different designs or some people are just pulling it back and some aren't. This is the classic cardigan. Yep, it really is. Open front. We've got some vents. Staple with a variety of lengths. This is like the one cardigan you'd ever need. If you don't have a cardigan yet, might as well get this one. Um, large patch pockets, optional split hem, optional banded bottom on the shorter length, and then three different sleeve options. I kind of like this a lot. Again, it's not like rewriting, <laughs> you know, nothing special or exceptional about it, but it just is an idea I hadn't considered, and I appreciate that about pattern designers who give us an option that may seem obvious to them, but to the rest of us, we're like, oh yeah, that is a good idea. <laughs> All right. So yeah, open front cardigan. There's literally nothing more to say about this. That is what it is. So we'll go to the next classic shell, which again, is just like a basic woven top. We've got classic shift dress. We've got a sleep set. 
a little like button down top with your pajama pants um, and like a little cuff situation. You can also make this into a dress. That's really cute. Um, there's a bundle. Here's a collared shirt dress. This one is a little bit more difficult, but look at these results. Little elastic waistband. There's a yoke, a collar, the tab sleeve. Similar bodice to what we've seen in some of the other patterns, but she just added a fuller skirt and a little bit of elastic um, to cinch in at the waist. Super cute. So if you liked those other kind of collared versions, this one's really cute too. I love that. I love how she utilizes princess seams almost exclusively. I don't think I've seen a single dart yet. Um, I love a princess seam. I think they're so much easier to fit um, than darts. I think you you just get a better overall looking garment with princess seams. All right, got a little pair of knit comfy shorts. I'm here for some of these for this summer. I don't feel like I have a lot to just lounge around in summer wise. I have a lot of like sweatpants and like joggers and yoga pants and stuff like that, but not a ton of these like just little casual situations, but look how cute, right? All day long, a little low in the rise, but that can be adjusted. There's a little pocket little bias binding. Love these. They're also a little bit long in the inseam, which I also really appreciate. Yeah, love these. I mean, you can make them shorter, little booty shorts if you want. Cute, right? Oh, see, two length options, shorter inseam and one is an, that is an inch longer. Love that. And this goes up to a 6X on these shorts, too. This is comfy shorts bundle and then just the comfy shorts. Hmm. I don't know what else was included in that. Just look. Oh, wait. Hold on. Knit shorts with trim and pockets and two styles and then a kid's. Maybe like kids and adult bundle. I don't know. That's why I'm not even looking at the bundles. Um, creative cap sleeve top and tunic. Um, knit dolman style cap sleeve top. Um, bump up your basic t-shirt. Variety of options. Yeah, look at all this. Banded or invisible binding to finish the neckline. Classic front and class and back or front and back yoke options. Gather back option. V back with cross straps, which is so pretty. Sleeve cuffs, front tie, um, regular or shirt tail back, regular scoop back hem, regular or vented side hem, and regular long tunic lengths. So it is an elevated t-shirt, but they're all really long. And I'm just not into tunics anymore. So I would be shortening mine. And then I think at that point, like, what's the point? Okay, there's that. Um, another bundle. Cross Hem T. This is, um, oh, free with code. This must be through her Facebook. Um, free pattern found here. Pair the Cross Hem T with Parisian Night Hmm. Get this pattern for free with the Facebook group. Okay. Love that. So this is what it looks like. Great little basic tee from the waist up and then waist down. It's just got a little bit of a detail here. Let's see if anybody did anything super fun with that. Yeah. You can do like a little peekaboo of something else, even lace, something sheer. That would be really fun. And then it does look like a lot of people made these into little pajama pants. And because she already has these drafted as tunics, it's not that much more fabric to make it into a little night dress. Okay, here's the Crossroads sweater. This is a fun little option to like for a layering piece. Totally get it. Favorite stable knits. Make your sweater an all-in-one or, or mix it up with contrast fabrics. Designed to be layered. 
I think it's very slimming. I think, yeah, as a layering piece, it's really, really, really great. I'd like to see it over a dress. Even if you made it a little bit shorter so that it hit your dress right at your natural waist. Here's a virgin in a dress. Right? I just think that's so sweet. This one's also classic, very teenage appropriate. Yeah, lots of options here. This I think is a great little staple that I don't see very often. All right, double take tank, double take tank. That's hard to say. Little racerback tank top. This is endless summer shorts. We've got cute, comfy, cool, woven shorts with a wide range of woven fabrics, including quilting cotton, not my favorite to recommend, but rayon blends, lace, and seersucker. Add pockets, a front drawstring, and trims to make these a one-of-a-kind creation. Two and a half inch inseam front pockets, elastic waist, pocket detail, lace trim, cuffed hem, drawstring, or lining? Oh, for the lace, I guess. A little one yard wonder. Love that. Let's look at some of the photos to see how we are doing on fit. Yeah, the crotch looks really good there. Up oh, there too. Okay. So elastic waist, little curved pocket. Cute. Yeah, you guys, this looks pretty good on everybody. I'd love to see these in like a tensile twill. Oh, here's the lace with the lining. Love that. How you can kind of, the lining's a little bit shorter. Cute with the lace. Gingham. Yeah, all of these look pretty good. Impressive. Okay. Yeah. Love that. What else do we have? Fashionista jacket. Okay. This is like a take on a jean jacket. Look how cute. Um, designed for non stretch denim and twill fabrics. Perfect layering piece. Designed to hit at a short length between the natural waist and the high hip and ensures an amazing, it ensures that it looks amazing over dresses, rompers, tunic, tees, and everything else. Cuff sleeves are designed to hit at the widest part of the hand. Front placket and cuffs can be closed with jean shank buttons, metal snaps, or regular buttons. Okay. Yeah, she's got lots of pictures of herself in this one. We've got, yeah, her standard looks like around five inches of ease in the bust, which makes sense for a layering piece for sure. And then the length, yeah, because the hip doesn't really matter. But all of these fun little details here, I wonder how hard that is to sew. Great denim, uh, little princess seaming in the back. Great top stitching, little welt pocket. Yeah, this seems like way advanced compared to some of her other patterns. Oh, there it is in corduroy. Yeah, a little denim floral. Hot pink. Yeah, my only thing that I've noticed with the back views is that this scoops down pretty low. I don't know why it's not just kind of coming across the back like this. But it looks like a great little entry level denim jacket because it's like all the things that are hard about denim jackets except for the collar. So it's like one less hard thing. All right, we've got the Oh, I, Giverny, Giverny, Giverny. Huh. Um, it is a blazer. So, she, 
shorter length princess seams optional front pleat oh that yeah hmm here's our line drawings let's assess from there so you've got your princess seam again single button standard sleeve so this is like a standard blazer or you can do this uh, gathered cap and ruched hem you need a little tab or you can do this little belt situation yeah it, it feels very vintage are you are the vintage gals out there getting a vintage vibes from this is that where the name Giverny comes from it's not like Givenchy, Giverny, is it? Givernay? Do I sound super fancy? <laughs> um, oh, a hair turban. Love that. Not sure about calling it a turban, but... Oh, she called it a wrap. I called it a turban. My bad. It is a hair wrap. Okay. Love that. Free with um, a Facebook code, I guess. Hepburn Henley. Love a Henley. They're like the little t-shirts with the little... Placket, which you can see best here. A little bit difficult to sew in my experience. But yeah, this is a good one. Nice deep scoop. But maybe there's other options. Let's see. Narrow Henley, faux Henley, or plain neckband. There's your links. Sleeve tabs, semi fitted, <laughs> somewhere between potato sack and skin tight. So this neckline is the same for everybody. Oh, no, there's a V and a scoop. Okay. Different levels of modesty, layering, and face framing. Gotcha. Yeah, I love a good little Henley. It seems like all her patterns, too, have lots of sleeve options, neckline options, and length options. So that's nice. This is the Journey tunic. Also very boho-y, boho vibes. Look how cute, though. You know me. I'm a sucker for a ruffle. And this one has a bunch of them. Look how sweet. I mean, a little high up here. Were they all like that? Oh, they are. High collar. Oh, then you have this little slit. Let's see if we can find one with a slit and see if we like that any better. Slitted dress. Yeah, super cute. I'm wondering if this is hitting in the right place. This definitely is. That looks great. I wonder, is this supposed to be at your high hip? Maybe. Yeah. It has a little bit of a dropped seam there. Oh, that's cute with one little layer. Fun. I like this one. Okay, LaCroix crossback top. Again, just our little knit with some crossover details. I think it crosses in the front and the back, I think. Loose fitting top with drape in the cross to give an elegant and flirty flare. Depending on fabric, dress it up, dress it down. Crossover and the crossover and delicate neck line bring interest, whether made in solid prints or mix. So I think it does cross in front and back. Nope. Front does not cross. Back does cross with ruching through the back. Although, does that say front? This is all too small. That says front. That says back. This says something I can't read. This says something, something front maybe. No idea what that says. Something, something front. Cross front. So I guess you can cross in the front or the back. I don't know. Now I'm confused. We have a plain front. Cross back. Yeah, I guess you can just mix and match the fronts and the backs. I do like that ruching um, detail. Sexy. Yeah, there's a lot of cute options in there. Okay. Next up, bundle, bundle. Okay. Bundle, bundle, bundle. 
necktie top. Again, necktie tops were like having a moment a few years ago. This one with all the contrast fabric, I don't know about that. This is how I imagine a modern version of a front of a, a necktie top. This is like an ITY knit or something, lightweight, drapey, fluid, all that. Um, then you've got this little sleeve band here, making sure you have like a fitted thing through your wrist, little bubble sleeve, and then she's tucked it into a little skirt. Perfect. Perfection. Sorry, just looking through a whole bunch of these to see. What else jumps at me? These are the line drawings and they show that you have a few sleeve options. Stove pipe sleeve, gathered poet sleeve with cuff, three quarter length, and a bishop sleeve, which is the one that we just looked at. Again, I like this, especially for those of you that are going back to work. Fabrication is the name of the game on this one. Her, whoops, her color blocking looks better to me but I'm just not a super fan of color blocking and also something interesting unintentionally she cut out one wristband from like this portion of the fabric and then the other one got cut out of the flower so even more just like a lot going on but with her like you know slim figure maybe that is what is aiding in the you know not looking too insane on the color blocking but like, you know, you could go super dramatic with like a cotton jersey. You're just going to get like a massive bow. Not a bad choice, just a choice. Do you know what I mean? All right, now we have Outer Banks tea. That's in North Carolina, so I'm so happy to support this little boat neck t-shirt. We don't need to spend a lot of time on this one. This is another one of those pattern companies that has 85 million patterns, but once you get down into them, you can start to see that they're all like little versions of each other to a certain degree. Um, this one's a little, one of the same tank tops that we've seen already. Same little sleep shorts we've seen already. This one just has lace inset through here. The shorts, I don't, are the shorts supposed to be like really wide? Like, are they flared? I guess maybe a little bit. Um, comfort and style, light knit, knit, stretch lace, um, vintage flared leg. Yeah. So that's fun. I think we can absolutely add like a vintage vibe to her just overall style. This is the Parisian night pant, which I think was free. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, free comfy wide leg lounge pants made for knits. I mean, she's calling these pajamas, you guys, but like, I think we all know that these days, you make these in the right fabric and you can wear these right out of your house. I'm not feeling as confidently about the crotch design on these as I was the other little pair of shorts. And there's no real good pictures of them either. It looks like because they're so loose, there might be a little bit too much room through the crotch here. Just like too wide of a crotch depth. But tell me you couldn't put on a like knit waistband with like a gauze. Um, and have like a super fun pant. The other thing I might consider, I, it's hard to, let me see if I find a picture before I speak too soon. Yeah, I don't see anybody's waist, so it's hard to tell how high up these go. Um, but that would be something to consider as well, like where the rise is. But yeah, free pant pattern. This is the fresh with a PH blazer. I had that fabric and made a dress out of it. That's so fun. And that tells me how old this pattern is. <laughs> that was like 
Oh, yeah, that was a while ago. Seven years ago, maybe? Let's go to a line drawing because I'm seeing ruffles. Yes. Okay. So we've got the same blazer bodice that we've seen already with the single button. Welt pockets similar to the denim jacket. You see how she's like piecing together parts of other patterns. The same little gathered sleeve we've already seen a whole bunch of. And this one inside the princess seams, you do have the option of a little ruffled situation. Or not. But this is what it looks like. A little shake your tail feather, but in the best way. I also wonder, hmm, part of me thinks this is too long. Part of me thinks this is hitting exactly at her waist where it should. So maybe for the petites out there, you just remove a ruffle or something. I don't know about ruffles over the bum, Is I guess is what I'm getting at. And nobody else showed the back? She did. That's the plain one, though. More Hong Kong finishes. Oh, here's a ruffle bottom. Yeah, see, this one feels like the appropriate length and whatnot. Maybe the other lady lengthened it. I don't know. It's hard to say, but I think that that's fun. You know me, though. I, it's hard for me to say no to a ruffle. We've got a Province pea coat. Yeah, legit double-breasted notch collar pea coat again with the princess seams, welt pockets. This feels like a similar western design as the denim jacket. A little waistband in the back. Great coat. Is it fully lined? Yes. Yes it is. So you've got a nice deep facing and fully lined. Also looks like it's Maybe top stitched. Cute. This is a racing short. So I feel like this is like those little knit shorts we saw, but for wovens. Yeah. I have always wanted a pair of shorts like this, but anytime I go to, you know, any store that sells activewear, they are not made for curvy girls. They just aren't. I mean, the nylon fabric obviously has no give, no stretch to it whatsoever. And they just were either like suffocating my thigh, suffocating my butt, <laughs> you know, or falling down. So this would be something fun to try. I actually have some Liberty of London. <laughs> um, what did they call it? Like, it's like waterproof, probably not made for a design like this. Actually, now that I think about it, it's more of like a board short situation. I don't know why I got it. It was when I lived at the beach and I thought, oh, it'd be so fun for stand-up paddleboard, which I did one time. Um, but, you know, maybe I should try to get some of these to fit. I think that I would wear them a bunch. And it would be a good option to go with other than just leggings all the time. I mean, look how cute that is. Yeah, love that. Okay, this is the Radiant Ruched Top. Semi-fitted. Ooh! Meaning that will highlight your curves without being overly tight or clingy. Designed for knits with 30% stretch and good recovery. Yes, asymmetrical ruched shoulder and side. This feels so freaking chic. Look at these line drawings. I mean, like, very expensive, very chic, very, like, just, I love this. It's got to be so comfortable. It's got to be so flattering on everybody. Let's pull up some tester photos and see. Look at that. Tell me she doesn't look like a million dollars. Love it in this like lightweight, like Jersey situation, maybe some kind of blend. Look how her waist is like, boom, waist, hip. Love that. Some close-ups. 
I don't know about all of this and the ruffle sleeve. It looks better with her arm down. That one looks incredibly well sewn. Look how even her little gathers are. Teach us, please. Teach us your ways. Yeah, I can see it as a little athletic piece with some wicking fabric for sure. Yeah, I think it just elevates a jeans look where you can wear jeans to somewhere nice or like a ponty pant. I mean, even tucked in, look how good it looks. Oh, I love this. Ooh, animal print. But look at these bodies, you guys. Everybody's got a waist. Everybody's got a waist. Oh, of course, naturally, maternity. Yeah, I think I like the plain sleeve option better. And then asymmetrical or otherwise, I don't care. I like them both. Love this. Love this. Love this. This is the refined raglan. So we've seen a raglan. This is the woven raglan. I think one of the first patterns we looked at was a woven raglan. This is that. I refined. I don't know. <laughs> oh gosh. She said, break out the champagne and put on your happy music because you are in need of at least a dozen of these. Large scoop neckline, optional open front. Don't know what that means. Open front has two lengths. So like a cardigan? Let me see what she means by open front. Oh, this? Hmm. And then you can do this little, um, I guess, pin tuck version as well. But at its core, it's still just a raglan, a woven raglan top. Riviera Romper? Uh, advanced beginner pattern designed for ease and comfort, summer loungewear that's also appropriate for date night. Might become your favorite outfit ever. Shorts have a loose straight cut and small leg slit, while capris give you a wide range of finishing options for different looks. The elastic waist should fit at your high hip, not your natural waist. Not my favorite design choice because, again, that's a lot wider than this is. So I'm always just trying to nip and tuck to find the smallest part of me. Um, a little unfair to look at a straight sized person. Hold on. We've got people putting belts on them. Like I could never wear a belt there. It would just ride up, ride up, ride up, ride up because the curve there is so like deep. Yeah, I guess if you made sure that the bodice portion was long enough that it really kind of like doubled over itself through here where it looked like a shirt tucked in. Well, that looks like a shirt. Like this, where it looks like a shirt tucked in. I think that would be your best option for keeping it flattering. What I don't like is when it's pulled, I saw one example, when it's pulled down and like, Hold on, like this. This is not flattering to me, and I hate the word flattering. This to me is not gonna make me feel my best. Um, just like I would never wear shorts that low with a shirt tucked in, so just because it's a one piece doesn't change my mind about that either. Um, so here for a romper that sits at your high hip and not your natural waist, that's fine. I think we just have to like be a little bit careful about lengths and making sure that everything is long enough, um, where it creates like the best proportions for us. Make sense? Um, and then it looks like to get in and out of this thing, it's just the little tie in the back and a deep scoop neck. So easy peasy to pull on and off. 
Another option would be to just not put in the elastic. Um, where you could have like a, like almost like a onesie, you know, which is a single piece. Um, I don't, I'm assuming that, yeah, obviously there's two seams because everyone's doing different tops than bottoms, but you could even just remove that seam and just have like a full one piece. Again, double checking links along the way. Um, this is the Satara skirt. Why is this three dress forms difficult? Oh, it's a dress. Shirt dress. Oh, I thought it was a skirt. I can't read. Okay, I thought this said skirt. Um, Because, again, she's, like, really going all in on all of her versions with um, color blocking. I mean, pattern fabric mixing and matching. But look how sweet this one is. Let me see a line drawing. I mean, look at this one. So cute. It's like cute little Nashville vibes. Yeah, look, so sweet. Shirt dress, similar to what we saw before with the shirt dress. This one just has a uh, stand collar and no like pointed part and then like a fuller skirt and obviously a waist seam, but she's cute. Um, where are we? We are down here at the adult split hem top. Another knit top will work real quick. Um, semi fitted scoop neck. I mean, she didn't bother with the description. That's how <laughs> basic this one is. Um, here's our line drawing, but you can see knit top, little sleeve band, v-neck or scoop and then you've got your splits on the sides oh this was in 2019 so we can see how old that one is this one is sporty skirt um midi below knee midi length double scoop or regular hems separate casing for waistband optional drawstring based turned hem or bias hem optional pockets Easy peasy little design. Believe it or not, this little like tennis court chic, <laughs> tennis court cute is like having a moment. Um, all of those little, like remember those little tops from the 90s that were like knit and had a little grown on collar, like pointed collar or like the little like um, skirts with the shorts underneath, skorts. All of that is like living, living, living again. So this reminds me of that a lot. I think you could be very, very on trend with a sporty skirt of your own. Let's look at some of these versions. I mean, couldn't get easier to make. Throw on, super easy, super comfortable. You could even just add all of this, like just tack, not tack on, but like Use this seam and a bodice seam put together, make a little sporty dress. Right? I mean, everybody looks great. Cute, cute, cute. And yeah, there are 10 bucks is mostly what all of her patterns cost. Here's a little denim situation. Very cute. Does she live in Texas? I need to know where she lives. She's got Western. She's got vintage. She's got cute. Like her style is very, um, very like all inclusive, like something for everyone. I love that. Okay. Jean skirts are really not a complicated sew aside from the zip fly. And even that isn't really hard once you get the feel of it. I need another closed parentheses here. Um, to get a great lurking skirt, it's all to fit in the details, jean thread, okay, blah, 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 mid-rise that is fitted at the top of the hip and then has a straight A-line to the desired length. And I will say for a curvy girl, the fit of this, that this is not poking out, we're not getting any weird drag lines in the front does look so, so, so good. So these are the versions that she was able to make. Love, love. She did say mid rise, so we gotta keep that in mind. My inclination is to put everything high rise because that's where we've been 
kind of style wise for so long but this is a mid-rise skirt you could absolutely make it a high-rise skirt if you wanted you just have to add some length maybe to the yoke Oh, she did not put I'd rather be sewing embroidery on her pocket. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Pockets are a little oddly placed, right? They feel really close together and also very short or just small in general. Like, no, that is not where this the, her pockets belong. They need to be like here. Like through the... I'm going to, I don't know, this is going to be controversial, but like the meat of your bum, <laughs> that's where they need to be. These are way too high, way too close together for her. For some people, it may be okay. She just left hers off altogether. The fit on that is exceptional. Cute mommy and me. Yeah, too high. These did get spread out further. They just need to be a little bit lower like two inches lower okay yeah cute little denim skirt um starting point tank again basic knit tank this is the summer dress i'm here for a cutout Warm weather staple, perfect for vacation, outdoor picnic, or all around lounging and frolicking the days away. Fitted knit bodice, crossover back, keyhole cutout. Two options, full back or a crossover back. How fun. And then a whole bunch of different lengths. Okay, let's look at some of these. Oh, wait, I already did that. Okay. Um, I think that's the crossover back version. I see, I see. So it's it does have a seam, obviously, for the cutout in the back. But I think it would be interesting to make this with uh, the front all like one piece, but then you'd lose a little bit of the flare. I don't know. Here it is as a peplum top. The crossover is super cute. Love all the sass. So sweet. Gorgeous. Fun. Love the um, border print. Yeah, I think I would be living in this. See, like her, for example. Her waist is way up here. So if she had sewn this seam up here, her the hourglass would be like, like, booming. <laughs> dress that's like a perfect wedding outfit like dress it up dress it down do your thing or wear it to target so many cute options the way that she got this ice cream and took all these pictures before the ice cream melted that is pro status modeling trust me Yeah, I love it. I love the flutter sleeve. I love it without the sleeve. Love the crossover. Like, look how good that looks. I want one. <laughs> I want one. Um, okay, last page. And we've got a little clutch. Real deal jeans. That's a cute way to put it. Full length capri and three lengths of shorts. Wow. Um, three inch, five inch, and board short length. The ideal fit of these jeans is to have an average rise that is fitted through the rear and thigh and then go straight down from the knee. I think that's also called, well, no, I was going to say stovepipe. I think stovepipe goes straight from the hip. This might be boot cut. Um, this shouldn't feel as tight as skinnies. They aren't that kind of jean. However, you can use a tutorial here to make them skinny jeans. Okay. Let's check out. We've seen some throughout this series. We've reviewed some jeans, some real deal jeans, as she calls it. And we've seen some bad versions. So let's check these out. Based on everything I've seen about all of her other pants, I think we'll be fine. Um, 
the rise, didn't she say average rise? So it's a little bit between mid and high. I like that just fine. This one obviously is a little bit big through here, but very straight um, side seam for someone who's so curvy. I think she's more of an apple though, so she's gonna have a lot of fullness, which is what's showing through um, these two areas. That looks really good, nice and straight. This feels really low though. Like your yoke should not be through the biggest part of your bum. Here's a little short. Those pockets look in a decent place, maybe a little bit lower, maybe an inch. Those are appropriate. So the yoke here seems okay. See, it's just hard to tell because I don't know if people are making alterations or not. Those look great, but she did make hers into skinnies. Here's a little short. Is that this pattern? Wow. Hands in pockets. Like, people just can't help put their hands in a pocket, whether it's the back pocket, front pocket. Who knows? Yeah, those look great. Good, yep. For a full thigh woman, full belly, I think I think she did a great job. I, I the more I look at this, the more I am a little bit concerned about sort of the the deepness of the waistband and yoke and then how that is affecting everything below it. Like some people, this is sitting up nice and high where I think, I mean, if it were me, the, like the point of the yoke should be like close to the top of your crack. Oh God, I can't believe I just said that on the internet. But <laughs> for some people, I don't know, maybe they're like shorter through here. I don't know what's happening. Um, but I want, I just want to run up to her and pull this up. Her too. Some people are definitely wearing this at their high hip, which is lower than intended. Again, I don't know if she's shortening through here. Um, see, this is what I'm, this is more close to what I was thinking, where this yoke ends higher up on the bum, therefore the pockets are a little bit higher, and then you get a longer leg line. Yeah, that one looks really good too. So all things considered, we've got some really promising um, photos here. It's not super consistent throughout, which again is just one of the downsides of using tester photos. You're going to get a variety of alterations. None of them are very clear as to what's been altered. So you just don't really know. But across the board, consistently, there are more good looking jeans than not good looking jeans. So that gives me a lot of hope and promise. And plus for $10, I'd try that little jean short for sure. Okay. Now we have the Tidewater tee, which is the last little cutout tee, but the uh, cutout dress, but with the cutout at the back yoke instead. Super cute, super simple. We've seen this um, little t-shirt already in this video. She just put a yoke on it, and then did a little scoop. That's it. You could hack a t-shirt you already own into this. It's not hard. Or you can just pay the $10. Here is a robe, right? Oh, tourist tie, top, tunic, and dress for women. I thought it was a robe. My bad. My bad. Um, yeah. Okay, so it has this little thing, which isn't actually a belt. It's Okay, I need this. How does it work? How do you do it? First, curiosity, first and foremost, of how this is executed has got me. Then I'm like, how comfortable does that look? Like, I want to wear that all summer long. And third, it's so freaking cute. It's like the trifecta. 
yes. There's the little tunic version, I guess, maybe. And look how cute the little top is. I'd make all three. Give them all. I mean, right? Wear that to work. Wear that to a date. Wear that to a wedding. Depending on your jewelry and your shoes, you are good to go. Need, need, need. Waffle knit. Love. I love everything. Everybody who's watching this video needs to go buy this dress. It will look good on every single body type there is. Whether, would no, I don't care what kind of fruit you are. All the fruits. It's great for every lifestyle. It's great for every age. It's great for every, I, I can't think of a situation where even if you sat around in the home all day long, you would, this would still be great for you. I uh, mean, with the little hat. I love this. She is perfectly illustrating my point. Look at me in my wedges and my bag with my little scarf, ready to go to work. And then <laughs> the next day or later that night, she's like, it's time to go to the baseball game. I got my hat on. I've got my crossbody and my flip flops. Let's go. Right? I mean, look, look at the attention to detail with the red hair tie. I can't. So good. So good. It makes me so happy. Oh. Yeah, this top is great. This top is great. Need one, need one, need them all, need them all. It goes up to a 5X. No excuses. 10 bucks. Great. Love that. Tourist tie top and dress. This is the traveler tee. Again, we've got a raglan tee. Scoop neck. That's really, I mean, that's what we've got. Here are the line drawings. Maybe better, better to see. This one does have a little square doodad. Um, this square, the front center panel is made of woven material. The sleeves in the back are knit. So that is actually really fun because scrap busting, right? You can go into your stash, mix up all the things, even if they're woven and knit. I love that. Or you can make it all out of one or the other. So great little scrap busting option, five bucks. Um, then we have the trendy tank again, another tank top. This one happens to be V-neck free code. We have the twin peaks cardigan. So we had sort of the like basic open front cardigan. How is this one different? I guess this, yeah, we've got a little, I don't know. I'm getting like Superman vibes or a straight across back yoke too. Give me a line drawing. Give me a, here we go. Thank you. Um, okay, plain yoke back or this little superstar version. And it's open front, hip length or thigh length. And then all the sleeves are the same. But the little back thing is really kind of different. Again, great little scrap buster on that too. Um, this is the V-neck dress and hoodie. So you guys came for me the last time I talked about a hoodie dress. Many of you apparently live in climates where a hood is literally appropriate on every single type of garment that there is. And putting a hood on a dress was not weird to you guys at all. But for me, I don't know, it just felt like, am I really going to put on a dress, you know, where it's like, you know, all the air is circulating and then be like, ooh, I'm cold. Let me put on my hood. <laughs> but to each his own, I guess, maybe I would need to live where you guys live to fully appreciate the hooded dress. But nonetheless, here's another <laughs> option. Um... This one also happens to have a banded tunic version as well. We've already talked about my aversion to banded tunics, 
but you can leave it off. You can leave the hood off. Um, instead of the hood, there's this shawl collar or just a v-neck band. And then you have the kangaroo pocket. And then also like two part sleeve, thumb holes. There's lots of options in this. So it is a little sporty. There's some questionable pattern matching print mixing options here. But like this one I love. Right? Just the right amount. Three different fabrics. Um, just the right amount though. Some of these, not my fave. But there you go. V V neck vivacious v neck dress and hoodie waterfall cardigan this one is free um it is banded so you can see or is that a facing uh oh so fast so by eliminating the facings and collar so you need to make sure that the underside of your fabric is also pretty yeah not a lot of options here but for a free little pattern, not bad. Here's a cutie little sleep set. Love. For sure, this will be included in February's Sew Together 2023 when that rolls around. Yeah, cute. Very cute, very cute. Love the kind of drape of the top. The shorts fit great. You can also make a little slip dress, which obviously, yes, for night wear, but also as a slip. Revolutionary, right? No line drawings on this one, but a lot of really great tester makes it looks like. The fit looks good on everyone. She really, I think, has done a good job on the pants fitting for curvy figures. If that's who she's designing for, I really do feel like all of her bottoms look look um, more good than not good, which is which is great. All right, that's the end. That is all of the patterns from Winter Wear, all the women's patterns anyways. Let me know what you guys think. I think we saw some kind of trends emerging like boho, vintage, um, a little bit of Western in there a little bit too. Sure, there are some repeats as with any, you know, indie designer with this kind of uh, volume of patterns. Um, but some really cute standout stuff, for sure. Let me know which one was your favorite. Are you going to be buying anything? Hopefully all of you will be saying you're going to go buy that little, I already forgot the name of it, but the top with the twist in the front. Like we need, everybody needs to make that. Um, but there's also some really other cute options in here as well. She does have some of these things on sale. Um, so looks like most of the bundles are what is on sale. But anyways, um, I have linked to the last, uh, first impression Friday that we did. I don't even remember who it was for, but it is linked here at the, in the end slate, the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Just click on that. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of winter wear designs. Uh, that's going to do it for me today, though. I will be back next Friday with another episode of First Impression Friday. And, of course, I will see you in the meantime. Bye!